Welcome to the August 2013 Dallas Camera Club Print Competition. Our theme this month is Candid Photo, described as a photograph where the subjects are acting naturally or spontaneously without being posed and seem unaware of the photographer. Our judge for this month is Amy Holmes George. Amy is a fine art photographer and educator based in McKinney, Texas, where she has held recent teaching appointments at the University of North Texas, Baylor University, and Collin College. As a former tenured professor from Stephen F. Austin University, she co-directed the photo and digital media curricula and also established the school's first study abroad program. Amy, the recipient of a 2008 Fulbright grant, holds an MFA from Clemson University and a BFA from Miami University. Exhibited widely throughout the USA as well as in Italy, England, France, and China, Amy's work has been featured in over 90 exhibitions and is housed in several permanent collections including the Getty, the Kinsey Institute, and the Fratelli Alinari Museum in Italy. She is currently the Vice President of the Texas Photographic Society and a member of the National Board of Directors of the Society for Photographic Education, serving previously as Chair, Treasurer, and Vendor Liaison on the SPE South Central Regional Board. Additionally, Amy co-founded Alt-8, an alternative photographic processes group which meets monthly in the DFW area. Before we begin, Amy offered the following general recommendations as a result of examining the prints turned in for this month's competition. For a professional look when matting, consider using white 4-ply 100% rag board. This will eliminate any show through of the yellow buffered core. Also consider using only a single window matting for a simple clean matting style. Beginner's Monochrome Prints Concentration by Barbara Briley There is the potential for an interesting narrative here if the details of the image are produced more clearly. Overall, the print is much too dark and flat in values. Need to increase the contrast to improve the image clarity. Maybe try a lust or a satin printing paper to elevate the richness of the tonality. 8 points Gondolier by Delisanne Foglia. There is the potential for an interesting narrative here. This is a low resolution image rendered out of focus. Also, you need to reduce the contrast in order to improve the surface detail in the highlights and shadow areas. These are both very flat. The camera could have been repositioned to avoid the awkward placement of the pole behind the figure. 8 points. Lake Walk by Michael Farnham. This is a quiet but appealing image. The highlights are posterized, meaning the data has been clipped in the histogram, resulting in flat areas of paper white. Also, the image is quite grainy overall. I would consider framing the subjects off-center to push the dynamics of the composition. 10 points. Bike Cop by Spencer Parker. Nicely composed. I find the illuminated red hand to be a visual distraction. I'm not sure why this element has been emphasized. Also, it appears that the background is rendered in better clarity than the foreground. 10 points. Focused on the Run by Chris Kobos. Beautiful print tonality and clarity. The foot is cropped off at the bottom of the print. Carefully consider all the edges of your framing. 11 points. Gridiron Gang by Penny Clark. Carefully composed image. Flesh tones and mid-tones appear a little flat and could be adjusted to improve the overall tonality of the print. Crop or trim this image down to exclude the irregular black border. 11 points. Texas Summer Day by Sherry Johnson. Nice contrast and tonality, playful storytelling. The composition could be improved by more carefully considering the edges of the frame. 11 points and honorable mention. After the Sale by Jackie Carver. Quiet by dynamic composition. Print quality could be improved. 
Horizontal banding is visibly evident, especially in areas of uniform value like the sky. 12 points in third place. Child Soldier by Julie Horak. Emotionally compelling image with a powerful narrative quality. Overall, the image is soft and grainy, but that grittiness lends to the character of the subject matter. 13 points and second place. Texas Highway Patrol performs 21 Gun Salute by David Stiff. Beautiful tonal range and image clarity, handsome print. Consider cropping the composition to Engage the edges of the frame more dynamically. 14 points and first place. Advanced Monochrome Prints Heavenly Twisted Root Burger by Jerry Martin Nice composition. A faster shutter speed or better lighting would have improved this image greatly, as the evidence of camera shake or blur is visible. The details in the highlight and shadow areas have also been compromised, so these surfaces flatten the image. 8 points. Lunch at Schwab's by Bob Krauss. Nice balanced composition. I find the reflections to be particularly interesting. Details in the highlights and the shadows have been almost completely lost. The print also appears to have a lower image resolution, which unfortunately impacts the image clarity and edge definition. 9 points. Waiting for the Family Photo by Susan Stageman. The format which approaches panorama is quite nice. The print seems overall a little too gray. Enhancing the tonal range could give this image more depth and I notice a strange darkness along the top left and bottom edges, a sort of halo effect. Also, I wish that the foot along the bottom edge of the frame had not been cropped. 9 points. Mending a Hurt by Gary Coles The image is emotionally moving and well balanced within the square format. Elevate the contrast as the print appears to be an overall gray. I wish the image had been photographed with a greater depth of field and also a faster shutter speed to more effectively capture and freeze the family's gestures and details as a whole. 10 points. That's Your Best Smile by Steve Havacek. This print has a lovely tonal range and image clarity. I would consider framing the subjects closer and more asymmetrically to improve the dynamics of the composition. 10 points. Waking Up by Tina Arms. Beautifully composed image and gesture. This image would benefit greatly from some subtle tonal adjustments to refine the highlight and shadow details as well as the flesh tones. 11 points. Contemplation by Susan Bersiaga. Nice balanced compositional design. Refine the image clarity, it appears a little soft, and also the tonal quality, which seems a bit gray overall. 11 points and honorable mention. Comfort by Richard Stern. This is an endearing image. The print scale and professional presentation help to captivate the viewer's attention. I would consider cropping some of the top and bottom of the image to create an even more intimate space. Also, I would recommend adjusting the tonal range via the curves or levels in Photoshop to enhance the flesh tones and pronounce the details in the highlights. 13 points and third place. Hard Times by Rachel Cook. The image is emotionally evocative and effectively captures the subject's feelings. Beautiful print tones, clarity, format, and presentation. If possible, try to reveal a little more surface texture and detail in the shadows of the skin tones. 15 points and second place. Cuban Couple Dancing Through Life by Janie Rumberger. This image is emotionally moving. 
It also exhibits superb clarity and a beautiful tonal range. If possible, it would be nice if the area around the couple's hands were darkened slightly. 15 points and first place. Masters Monochrome Prints Plain Air Painter by Bob Johnson Nice composition. Overall, the image appears too dark and out of focus, which distracts from the beauty of the scene. 8 points. A Wedding Vow by Harry Rumberger You have captured an endearing moment on camera. Camera movement and image blur is quite evident and impedes the overall image clarity. Consider cropping the couple more intimately to pronounce the emotional quality of this image and also reduce some of the distracting background elements. 8 points. Gin Teacher by Stephen Reeves This image holds great promise for an interesting narrative. The unnatural distortion of the figure on the left is a bit unsettling. I believe that this image would benefit from redirecting focus and clarity on the people as the primary subjects of the scene, not the bottles of alcohol. 9 points. Sitting with Papa by Dennis Fritchie. The emotional quality of this image is quite nice. Overall, the print is a little too gray, and I would crop the subjects more closely to eliminate some of the distracting background elements and also enhance the intimacy of the scene. 10 points. Advancing Skirmishers by Gary Kelly captures a wonderful sense of light and timelessness in this scene. Image clarity could be improved. 10 points. Playing Cowboy by Betty Johnson I enjoy the playful nature of this image. Beautiful, very authentic, candid portrait. Overall, the image is grainy or pixelated, and there appears to have been some digital retouching along the contour of the shirt sleeve, which is a bit distracting. 11 points. The Direction Committee by J. Hoppenstein Beautiful image clarity. Playful message. Try cropping or framing the subjects more intimately to engage the viewer and push the dynamics of the composition. 11 points. Sleeping It Off by Kay Hargis. This is a captivating image with the promise of an interesting story. The low image resolution and resulting print quality is what impedes this image most. 11 points. A Little Light Reading by Steve Newman Beautiful image clarity and tonality. Think about how to reposition the camera to improve the dynamics of the composition. Be careful not to compromise detail in the shadow areas, like the bottom right-hand corner. 11 points. Sad Buckaroo by Dan Meredith Emotionally moving image. Activate the negative space and also reinforce the emotional quality of this image by cropping the subject more closely. 12 points. Taking a Break on the Top Deck by Suzanne Graham Beautiful image clarity and contrast. Quiet, well-conceived composition. 12 points. Someday I'm Going to Get a Real Job by Wayland Threadgill. Gorgeous print tones and image clarity, well conceived. Think about how to push the dynamics of the composition to make the scene appear even more visually interesting. 12 points. Patience by Houston Brown. This image offers an exciting visual narrative with a stunning sense of clarity especially given the nature of the lighting environment. The figures appear a bit staged or unnatural and also aware of the camera's presence. 12 points and honorable mention. Not a Fair Fight by Frank Richards. 
I enjoy the exquisite print quality and wonderful storytelling capacity of this image. I wish the French horn player wasn't making eye contact with the camera. 13 points and third place. Woman in Black by Bill Hayes. Wonderful artistic vision. I enjoy the way your print collapses both space and time. The image clarity could be improved, appears grainy or pixelated. 14 points and second place. Some instruction on the proper way to Vogue by Aaron Curry. Beautiful and engaging image with a wonderful narrative quality. Be careful not to compromise important surface detail in the shadow areas. 15 points and first place. Beginner's Color Prints Talking Camel by Julie Horak I appreciate the humorous element of this image. Repositioning the camera to avoid the dramatic backlighting would have helped reduce the intense highlight and shadow areas which are lacking in surface detail. A larger depth of field would also render more of the scene in focus. Visual banding in the print especially evident in the boy's red shirt. 8 points. Waiting for the Dart Light Rail by Mo Stein. This is a well-balanced and dynamic composition. Overall, the image is dramatically out of focus due to camera shake or a post-processing blur effect. 8 points. Rainy Day by Sherry Johnson. Nicely composed image. Overall, the image lacks good clarity and focus. Because a flash was used during exposure, the highlight and shadow areas are a bit flat. 8 points. Early Morning Sacks by Spencer Parker. Nice composition. The image appears to have a relatively low resolution, resulting in visual artifacts. Also, the blur and softening effect on the background is not executed as well as it could be. As is, the result is unnatural. 9 points. No, Don't Tell Mom by Barbara Briley. This is a sweet and playful moment captured authentically on camera. The print color is oversaturated and the resolution appears lower than normal, resulting in softened edges and a reduced surface detail and clarity. 10 points. Art Lover by Jackie Carver. Well-balanced composition. Repositioning the person slightly to the left would reduce the negative space between him and the wall, which is a bit distracting. Overall, the image clarity and contrast could be improved. There is visual horizontal banding evident in the print. 10 points. I Love a Parade by Delise Ann Foglia. The image is visually engaging and well-balanced. Intense directional lighting has blown out much of the highlight detail in the flesh tones. 10 points and honorable mention. Turning Pages by Chris Cobos. This is a lovely portrait with great promise. Overall, unnatural color balance and lighting effects, and the subject's flesh tones appear flat. Be careful not to compromise detail in the shadow areas, for example the subject's hair and shirt. Also, I find the transparency of the turned page to be a bit strange. 11 points and third place. A Little Help Please by Michael Farnham. Gorgeous color and image clarity. Image feels a little visually static. Consider reframing subject off-center to push the dynamics of the composition. 14 points and second place. Honoring Fallen Veterans by David Stiff. Beautiful portrait. I would consider cropping the bottom of the image to bring more focus to the subject's head and hand. 15 points and first place. Advanced Color Prints. Follow Me, Dummy, I Know the Way by Bob Krauss. This image communicates a playful and funny message. Mind the edges of the viewfinder, the subject's feet have been cropped. 
Also be careful not to center focus, as the background is rendered in better clarity than the foreground figures. A faster shutter speed would also help freeze the subject's movements. And, notice the shadow areas are lacking sufficient surface detail. Adjusting your curves or levels in Photoshop would help improve this. 8 points. Mom, Dad, Say Cheese by Steve Havacek. The image communicates a playful message. The color appears oversaturated, almost unnatural. Mind the edges of the frame and also the background to eliminate and reduce distracting elements. A larger depth of field would have rendered both the children and the parents in better focus. 8 points. Smelling the Flowers by Gary Coles I appreciate the simple beauty captured in this moment. I would also like to see the subject's face captured in focus rather than his hands. Also, the background could be considered differently in terms of exposure. It's way overexposed. And or the framing to reduce or eliminate distracting elements. Ultimately, these adjustments would maintain the focal point on the child more effectively. 9 points How Does Anyone See This? by Jerry Martin Nice composition. It appears that a flash was used during exposure. This is not always the most flattering lighting environment. Also, a wider depth of field would render both the subject's hand and face in focus. 10 points. Comfort from Dad by Susan Stageman I appreciate what this image communicates. It's tender and endearing. I believe that with a combination of adjustments, this image would express the emotional quality more effectively. Try repositioning the camera to include more of the father's face and crop the image tighter to enhance the intimacy. This would also eliminate some of the visual clutter in the background. 10 points. Daniel Francis Doyle by Aaron Curry Great use of dramatic lighting to capture the mood of the scene. I would like to see more of the subject's face and or hands rendered in better clarity, and be careful not to sacrifice too much detail in the shadow areas. 11 points Cooling Off by Tina Arms Rich color palette and lovely print quality. More uniform lighting and focus on both boys would improve the overall impact of this image. 11 points. Discovery by Jay Hoppenstein This image is beautifully balanced with a playful narrative quality. Experiment with faster shutter speeds to render the subject's hands frozen in motion. 13 points. Take My Hand by Rachel Cook Beautiful print quality and presentation. Think about how to push the dynamics of the composition, like asymmetrical framing or more intimately cropped image. 13 points. Line at the Louvre by Susan Bersiaga Very inventive approach to framing the subject matter, almost cinematic. I would like to see this image composed in a way that enhances the scale of the people relative to the stone wall a bit more, to push the dynamics of the composition. 13 points and honorable mention. Learning a Trade by Steve Sutton Stunning sense of color and clarity, authentic and tactile representation of a scene. Carefully consider your visual hierarchy, or what you want the viewer to see, first, second, third, etc. What is your primary focal point for this image? 14 points and third place. Mad at Mom by Richard Stern Beautifully composed, printed, and presented. Very professional. The background reveals a subtle but strange pattern of lines which may or may not be worth noting. I enjoy the narrative quality of this image. 15 points and second place. 
Sergio the Photographer by John Fowler The lighting, color, and surface detail are simply gorgeous. The image is dynamic, well-composed, and quite engaging. My only wish is for the object behind the cigar to be less visible. Otherwise, this image is exquisite. 15 points in first place. Master's Color Prints Dart Riders by Gary Kelly Beautiful color and contrast. Image is heavily pixelated or over-processed. I find the resulting effect undesirable, mostly because of the loss of detail in important areas like the faces. I wish that more of the figures were included in the scene. They appear compressed in space and abruptly cropped off. 8 points. Couple Sleeping by Bill Hayes Sweet and endearing portrait. Unfortunately, due to the lighting environment, highlight areas are dramatically blown out and lacking in surface detail. 10 points. Lost in Thought by Dennis Fritchie. Rich, crisp color and beautiful image clarity. Thoughtful and endearing portrait. The space between the foreground and background appears compressed, resulting in an image that is visually cluttered by elements that are not important to the primary subject or are not complementing the scene. A smaller depth of field and or repositioning the camera would minimize this issue. 10 points. A Friendly Game by Harry Rumberger. Beautiful print quality. Nice opportunity for a narrative here. There is an awkwardness about the framing. The central figure's head and hands almost float in the center of the composition, while the surrounding figures are dramatically cropped along the edge, disengaging them with the central figure. Mind the background and make better use of the negative space. All of these elements will help unify the composition. 10 points. Morning Goat Cart Ride, Santa Clara, Cuba by Janie Rumberger. I appreciate the playful quality of this image. The color appears unnaturally oversaturated. Think about how to activate the negative space to bring more visual interest. 10 points. Vigilance by Waylon Threadgill. Rich and beautiful color, nice print quality. Image clarity could be improved. I would also consider cropping the top of the composition to create more visual tension between the edge of the frame and the hat. 10 points. Hug for an Old Friend by Betty Johnson. I appreciate the message this image communicates. It is an endearing portrait. It feels a bit posed or staged for the camera. Try to find a way to engage the viewer more. Maybe frame the subjects more intimately in the scene or reposition the camera. 11 points. Hope I Hit It by Bob Johnson. Great fast action photography, beautiful color, clarity, and precision. Consider framing the subject off center in the scene to improve the dynamic nature of this image. Activate the negative space to your advantage. 11 points. Cub Scout Regatta by Dan Meredith. Creatively composed, well-conceived image with a great storytelling capacity. My only wish is that the boat were either more in focus or more out of focus. 12 points. Sunset Perch by Steve Newman. Lovely quality of light, Nicely executed. Consider framing subjects more off-center to push the dynamics of the composition. 12 points. It's Been a Long Day by Suzanne Graham. Lovely print quality and image clarity. Feels a bit staged. 12 points. Market Patrol by Kay Hargis. Wonderful rich color palette, thoughtfully considered subject matter, dynamic composition. The overall clarity of the image appears a little soft, maybe subtly sharpened. 14 points and honorable mention. 
One Part Powder by Houston Brown Exciting and dynamic moment captured with a superb sense of timing, gorgeous color and clarity. Mind the edges of the composition. 14 points in third place. Don't Forget the Underarm by Frank Richards This is such a dynamic composition balanced with beautiful intense color and a wonderful narrative quality. Gorgeous portrait. I only wish that the woman was rendered in better focus. 14 points in second place. Young Artist by Steve Reeves Stunning dynamic composition and rich vibrant color. Lovely portrait with a wonderful storytelling capacity. 15 points and first place.